Hey, everybody! Damn, we just got back from another movie, but was it another banger? I feel like after a very slow start to this early year, we're starting to really get on track with movies, at least in my opinion. I don't know how y'all feel about that. But with this one delivered, we just saw Lost City, a new Channing Tate Yum movie, and Sandra Bullock. Man, mm-hmm. this girl is aging like fine line. Oh, and of course, she? Harry Potter for Tyler. Daniel you know, Radcliffe. Yeah, yeah, you just got to run that in the ground, I guess. And uh, all those other people, Not Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, Pitt. Brad Pitt man. Mm-hmm. I can't forget the Pitt. Oscar from The Office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Made an appearance. Yeah. So, uh, what did y'all think about the movie before? Yeah, no spoilers like, quite yet. I guess like we going just into talk, it, what did you think is about? There spoilers I had talking about? no ex- like high expectations. Me either. I saw they the trailer so once low. and found out today it was the same movie. It was the right movie. It was the Chain Tatum. I knew they had a movie mm-hmm. coming out. Didn't think nothing of it. Right before the movie starts, Josh looks over at me and goes, "This is gonna suck." <laughs> really? Is yeah. that what you said? He's yeah, like, "This." I, I he's no like, "I don't have any high expectations for this movie at all." See, I was kind of hyped for this. Like, it looked like it would be a fun movie, not too great. But, like, I'm so in on the Channing Tatum train, dog. So I was like, I was rooting for this movie. And you know what? Brad Pitt being in it, too. Sandra Bullock's always a fun time. Even when she does get in comedy roles, she's pretty good at, I don't know, whatever that deadpan type delivery she has. Like She's, she's like the, good. a female Jason Bateman. Yeah, she's solid. So I was like, you, they might be able to turn something a little bit better than fun out of this movie. So, um, yeah. I thought the movie was a fun time. Did y'all enjoy <coughs> the movie? I don't uh, know. Are we even doing spoilers on this shit? Because not really. Like, there's not really any, like, heavy-duty spoilers other than yeah, there's the one, Brad Pitt one. That's, yeah. <laughs> but that's even that's like... That blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my, my expectations going into this was like, Actually, I wouldn't say high, but it was up there just because, like, it looked like a genuinely funny movie. Like, it looked like the humor was on point. Uh, it looked like it was going to be charming. <coughs> you got Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock. I, I was curious as to their chemistry, you Which know, I for this it. movie. And then, of course, the Brad Pitt, dude. When you saw, I saw him in the trailer, I was like, I'm going to see this movie. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it was Brad Pitt came in. It didn't matter if he was in for 10 it. seconds or 10 minutes. See, like, that's what made my expectations high, I think, it was Brad Pitt, as weird as that is. Because, like, that beginning of it, I was like, yeah, it's Chan Tatum. I'm here for this. It's, oh, it looks like it could be fun. I was like, I'll see it. Not too hype. And they put that little splash at the end of the trailer and i was like damn okay this movie probably has more funny shit going for it than i thought for them to make brad pitt this kind of guy this probably has some interesting funny shit in it that's real self-aware and it was and brad pitt was great in this movie uh, yeah. brad pitt he was the it. best part <laughs> he was he really amazing was dude. Slow motion so dude, and hair. he's in this movie a little bit more than i thought he would be honestly yeah, and they, and just they, a they really don't hold like like wait <clears throat> they get him in this movie within like the first 20 minutes yeah like 15 20 i minutes. thought he was gonna come in like the end yeah that's what i was saying but then him coming in early like this i was like oh okay I see, him out. I see what's gonna happen here and but uh <laughs> i mean ah yeah i mean spoiler 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 if you don't want to hear this if you haven't put two and two together yeah brad pitt gets Shot. Dude, he it's... gets his head blown <laughs> off, and <laughs> blood goes, which shocked me, by the way, how they let in a PG-13 movie that happen. That's because like, it didn't show. It, it was like brain splat all over all fucking Chan- Chan- yeah. Tatum. Yeah, it didn't shit. show his head explode, right. but you saw, you well, knew it, it happened. Quick. It was like in a split <clears throat> second, you knew it happened, and then blood just shot all over Tatum. And he was like, oh, like, yeah, that was fucking great. And dude, his little choreography was dope in the movie too. For real, he was fucking those people up like oh, in a no, good dude, way. Oh, dude, that under the table slide, was to, dope. dude, that shit was amazing. Dude, the running up the what was it? Dude, the, the fence. tree. <laughs> oh, the tree. Yeah. The, tree. Yeah, the fence that was hilarious <laughs> the, at first. Yeah. Then the tree on top of the roof. I like, like when he wrapped those dudes up and then knocked the oh, one yeah, guy in the middle yeah. of it, and they headbutted. And then Chan and Tatum <laughs> was like fuck, trying to fuck people up in the background. He's like, that guy was already unconscious. Oh, he was hitting them afterwards. Oh, yeah. he was trying he was still making that the one. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking great. Dude, I was really surprised. I'm here to save you. I, there was because I didn't expect Channing and Brad Pitt to be in a lot together in this movie. I was shocked at how good their chemistry was yeah. together. They were. Yeah, I great. wanted to see a movie. It made me want of more. Them too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It dude. kind of upsets me that that isn't the movie we got. Yeah, because since it was I got cool. a taste of that. Yeah. Yeah. 
like if they were like fucking like it was like his uncle or something and they ended up on this crazy Dude, journey they together. They actually Sandra Bullock and it's just Channing Tatum. Yeah. Oh man. They had reshoots. <laughs> it would be, but at the same time you'd be like, damn, is this actually it's secretly bold. a better movie? <laughs> it's bold. Yeah, dude. Uh, this one's a little weird for me, though. Like, it's a little different because, like, most movies, it, it, they start off strong for me. And it's, like, towards the second and third act when they kind of fall off. Yeah. This is the exact opposite. I think the first mm. act of this movie was flawless. I did the laughs in this were, at like the beginning the were same. amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, sounds exactly... it sounds like you're saying that. You, it went exactly how it normally goes. I think you just worded that weird. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. You, you <laughs> were like, normally I love the first act or something like oh, that. Oh, I did. I, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I can okay, tell so. that because I can tell you stop laughing. I look over and you start going, oh, okay. <laughs> Do yeah. a lot of well, those. I was like, okay. Dude. It just like, and I'm not going to give the full detail of my thing on it, but it, it's just, I think the second half <laughs> of the second act on through was kind of. Eh. Just down, downhill for me because it's like all the humor kind of stopped, <laughs> or yeah. it was the fact that it got repetitive because they were kind of doing the same jokes but in different ways. Yeah, and I was just like, okay, this is kind of getting dumb now. You I know, thought the second half was good. I wasn't the biggest fan. What do we think of Daniel Radcliffe though as the villain? I, I, like I thought he was yeah, solid. he did good. He I think good. For, it, it was hard for me for a second to get Harry Potter no out of my mind. To pull a wand down, yeah, something, dude. Oh, yeah. And then his voice is so like childish. You know, he's not like a grown well, that man. That line is, made yeah. a joke. <laughs> dude, I thought I was a child, but he had a beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that, that was funny. Was a, no. Yeah, that was that was funny. No, I mean there was definitely some good moments. I, I thought. I'll agree. I think the front half was better, but the second half was still a good adventure, so funny Pitt. movie, I think. But the first half was like even better than I was expecting. Yeah. It was nailing it. Definitely Fucking four killed laughs, it. that front half. Yeah. We were all four laughing, I think. Oh, yeah, pretty, dude. Pretty I love the, the I don't laugh. Front front I'm just playing. Yeah. Dude, it was yeah, great. I was like cracking up at a couple yeah, parts, agree, which yeah. like surprised the fuck out of me. Yeah, because I was wondering about this movie if it'd be like. Real strong on adventure, and there'd be a few funny parts, but this was almost like a flat out comedy, yeah, which was cool because we don't normally get those. So, like, I'm gonna give it points definitely for that, too. Because most movies, even though it didn't sustain the laughs to the same degree, it was a funny movie to some degree. On the second half, the jokes were landing, some of them weren't, but the first half was nailing on all cylinders Dude, yeah, with jokes, on point. and we don't get funny movies like this anymore. So I think I definitely got to give it a leg up for that. And honestly, like, I like the whole jungle. I thought, I'm surprised The Rock didn't jump on this. I don't know, man. There was a lot of green screen issues I had. The dude. one where they were at the top of the Oh, mountain. God. I think you went green screen? That was oh, did bad. he? <laughs> yeah. dude, it, which is crazy good. because, like, it was definitely when they green first on got the screen, to the top, it's a jungle. The sorry. camera did that roundabout and that looked great yeah I but then that. as soon as it was stuck on, on them two, two i was like you could tell they were like it yeah put in. It, it, just, it, it looked terrible but they uh, harped on it maybe too long but at the same time probably like, eh, it's a fucking comedy too though it doesn't need to be perfect. so the trailers that you all seen are basically <laughs> the 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 scenes that you see in the trailers are in the movie way funnier in the movie than yeah because in, the, oh, yeah. in the trailer it's like a quick you know, maybe four or five second, you know, clip of it, but really they're like three minute gags. Like yeah. they keep going, and you're just like, oh, this is just on top. Like it's getting better yeah, and better. You get the one line, yes. and then you get like, yeah, but there's like twenty other lines that go that with you didn't this. see in the trailer, and you were like, oh, I get way more, which mm -hmm. which was awesome. Yeah, for sure, dude. <clears throat> I mean, I. Hi. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it, Isabella. Isabella. Yeah, yeah, it. It was really funny, dude. I thought it was really funny. All right, you got to go in there. Mommy, okay? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, I thought it was really funny. I, I, Dude, and honestly, like, I think not even just the look of it. I just like the world they built in that jungle. Like, it just, like, it felt cool. And they didn't go for the obvious either, like, with a lot of shit where they could have, like, crazy animals attacking them left and right. So they didn't take the easy, cheap way out with that. Because how easy would that have been to do? It's like, let's just throw some type of like tiger or something in here. That could be a funny scene. They just went past that, stuck to their guns with shit. Which that would have been funny, too. It would have been cool if they added something like that. But it was cool to see they were just like, we don't even need to do that. We got enough here. 
So I kind of respect him for that too. And like I said, just the environment of it all, dude. I I got into it whether like some scenes look green screen or not. I felt like I was in that world. It didn't feel like overly cheap to me. It was a good time, good good atmosphere in the movie. Jungle I definitely recommend this movie. Yeah. Like I, I would definitely recommend it. Hundred percent. So, yeah, it's. I mean, especially for families too. Definitely even, better. Than yeah, all I that was blood. Expecting. Yeah, <laughs> way a lot better than I was expecting. Same the, here. The, I, the uh, what's what was the dude's name? The one, the native there. Oh, yeah. Not the mustache one, but the other guy. Oh, yeah, guy. I know who you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I liked his character uh, a lot. The that one that was, was like kind of, yeah, he was before. like with it, but against it at the same time. Like people yeah. are dying now, like in this yeah. getting out of hand, yes. like that kind of shit. Yeah, I, I, I liked his character a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's always that one guy that's like, I didn't sign up for this. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of times that person gets off. It's like, okay, well then fuck you. <laughs> Care about your jungle so much? Why don't you die at him? But yeah, he had, he had a good, good few good moments as well. But yeah, man, uh, and they even called uh, Tatum out for being Fabio, <laughs> which we were all thinking. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody was. Yeah. Dude, he was such a dumbass in this movie. He was, which he, is what he, made it right. Well, did, that's did he remind anybody of Rodney at all? Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, Just his humor, though. The looks, but not the, yeah, the build. Six pack. The <laughs> yeah, build, yeah that's 100% saw, me. See, the, yeah, everything no, I, else. No. I think that's kind of <laughs> where so I much. started drifting was when he had that serious moment with Sandra Bullock. I knew it. And when he had that serious moment, it was way out of his character. And I think it took me out of it. And then from that point on, I was just like, I don't know. What, the leeches? I dug it. No, 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 it was after was like, the leeches. No, it's when they got serious, when they're in stuff. the hammock and, yeah. and all oh. that scene. Yeah, it was like, it was a completely different yeah, character. I saw it they, well, the was, thing is... Well, it had to, I didn't expect it to be so serious when it happened. Though. It's yeah. like every movie like this, it's got to have that force moment where it's like, we got to disagree yeah. and then we got to come back to... The movie probably would have been better if they just kind of saved that for the ending. They just the kept the time. movie going the same pace it was going. But they did pick it up like right away. It was funny. They, they did. So, I it's, mean, I, I, I thought they balanced it well. But yeah, so everybody liked it. Yeah, well, we got score-wise. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I said a lot of negatives, and I will say I recommend this movie, which is kind of contradicting my score. <laughs> but I do recommend this movie if you want to go and have a good laugh or if you want to, whenever it comes out. What's it give? 6.7 is what I give it. Nice. I, I liked it more than I didn't, but I just feel like if they'd have kept the pace of the first half of that movie, it, this could have been an 8.5 for me, but it's a 6.7. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty close <laughs> to you. Um, I gave it a 6.9. Hmm. Mainly because I wanted to see them 6.9, but... Oh. Hello! Um, Tyler, Brandon. Uh, it looks ready to talk. I'll give it a 7, nine, actually. A Dude, 7. Yeah, point nine. This movie Jeez. was really funny to me, actually. And I Damn, was, son. It was a fun movie, <laughs> yeah. I like this movie a lot. 7, 9, Jesus. Uh, yeah, my score came down in the second half, and I kind of... So did mine. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying, dude. It was you like liked a, it that it much? It was like an 8-5 at the beginning. What? After, yeah, that's... after like Brad Pitt and all that stuff happened, I was like, ah. It's insane. I give it an 8.4. Ooh, yeah. Dude. Are you serious? Yeah, I swear to God. Oh, no. I was at like an 8.8. 8. Really? Damn. Yeah. I was looking at another Jungle movie that happened recently, like Jungle Cruise. Dude, Jungle Cruise was surprisingly good. That Yeah, like an 8.3... 8.5 range I think to I me. I gave it like a 7 something. Yeah. It was way really better than I thought. Love that movie. But I was sitting there, I was like, I'm even having more fun with this movie, I think. Low key. And I was like, so it needs to go a little higher than that, so let's bump it up to like an 8.8. And then the second half happened, and I bumped it down like 0.4 points. So yeah, I gave this movie an 8.4 out of 10. And also the fact, like I said, we don't get funny movies anymore that are flat out joke fests, and that's what this was. So I was hyped about that. I'm going to give it a couple extra uh, points for that alone. Recommendation, too, by the way. This, I don't know if you two have seen it. I'm pretty sure you have. No. Romancing the Stone. Nope. I just got it on my voodoo the other day because this was coming out, and I wanted to re- rewatch Romancing on the Stone. It's a Michael mm-hmm. Douglas film, and dude, this movie is heavily influenced by Romancing on the Stone. So you need to watch that. You two do, and okay. anybody else who hadn't seen it. Probably won't. Fantastic movie. Love you.